So welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania, folks. I'm still on my Lancaster County day trip. We were down at Shanks Ferry Wildflower Preserve. Just stopped at the Colemanville Covered Bridge. Now we're here at the, what's called the Martic Forge Trestle. This is part of the Enola Low Grade Trail. It's a rail trail these days. But there was a cool, huge, awesome railroad trestle up here that I think it was burned by an arsonist in, I think it was it back in 2018, April 2018. It was all over the news. Um, I mean, the steel structure was still there, but the, you know, the railroad bed itself got burned. But just last year in 2022, they redid it. So it's open again to uh, traffic, you know, bikers and hikers and stuff like that. So let's check it out. So it's just up ahead, because I parked at the Colemanville church parking lot which is just back there where those fellows are hiking up so it's maybe like half a mile walk up to it up here I can kind of see it already and up here is it goes uh, River Road goes under it a number of times I've driven under it you can see the huge steel supports for it so from ashes to new life I guess we'll call this video so it's be some pretty impressive views up here and this rail trail is on my radar too to do like a series on, you know, biking, different rail trails. I'd like to do that sometime too. This is probably one of them I'll do. Because I have all kinds of other series I'm trying to do too. So we are getting closer. It's right up there. I've never been here before. I've been on other parts of the Enola Low Grade Trail, but never up here. I can't hear the traffic from down below. All right, y'all know I don't really like heights so much, but we'll see how high this, uh, the fencing along the edges. <laughs> it doesn't look too high from here. And here we are. I should mention this was built in, uh, you know, the railroad trestle itself was built in 1905. I got that date correct. Welcome, Martic Forge Trestle. Yeah, you can already tell we're kind of up. But there you can see the original stone abutment. Let's go over here, get a view of it. Oh, this should be awesome. See the what the what the uh, infrastructure of it looks like. The steel. Oh yeah, there you go. Get an idea of it. There you go. That's a cool shot, actually. Yeah, there you can see all the, the steel work, the original rail bed there. Let's take make our way across, get some views. Yeah, this railing is just under chest high, so it's it feels secure. Huh, they put concrete across. And we can burn it this time. Because I think that was a problem the last one. It, you know, it had the original railroad ties, I think, and they, I think they kind of like a wooden platform across for the rail trail, but then someone burned that. This time there's nothing to burn. All right, in a little bit, we'll get some views. Doesn't feel like we're too high up yet, but until we walk over here, I think. The question is which way to look first. Maybe over here. Ooh. Now I'm starting to feel it. Looking out that way. Not as bad as some places. Yeah, I don't really like looking down too much. That's down there's River Road. Some view, look at the clouds. Opens up a little bit more here in the middle of the bridge. Man, those people live up there have a great view of this trestle. Yeah, 
Yeah, for me, like the open grate is a little creepy. I, like you, as you get close, you you feel like you're yeah. Just for someone who's afraid of heights, it kind of I'd feel safer with like a solid <laughs> panel. But anyway, we'll get to the edge. So to get used to it. Sometimes it just takes a little while for me to get used to it. Anyway, it is pretty awesome up here though. Obviously there are higher and more impressive railroad trestles out there, but, but we'll take it. I think that's the, the Peckway Creek down there. Right down there is Route 324, I believe. But yeah, it is a pretty awesome view of the, the river flowing down through there, all the way up through the valley there. On its way to the Susquehanna. And we're almost at the end ourselves. Take a look back this way again. And here we are at the end. We'll get some other views from here too. It looks like they had this, uh, I don't know. This might have been here for when it was burned to keep people from trying to come across anyway. They could roll this shut. But there isn't one of these on the other side though, so that's, that's kind of confusing. Let's see what it says here. Uh, yeah, just to get some information about it. It's restoration. All right, let's see if we can get some uh, views from over here of the trestle itself. Danger, no climbing. I don't intend to. But yeah, there's like a little trail going off the edge here. Well, not off the edge, but along the edge. Oh yeah, this is kind of awesome too. You can kind of see, once again, you see the, the trestle, how it looks. I guess this just goes to here. I know there's a trail. I'm not sure what property this is, but you know, oh uh, yeah, just looking around. There's a trail that goes up there. Oh, I see, you see purple paint up there though for the private property though. All right. Yeah. Even from here, you can see some of the steel work. And just making our way back. Well, somebody just recognized me. One of those guys on the bikes up there. I guess I'll see this video eventually. Yeah, so awesome little spot. If you live in the area, it's definitely worth a stop in. If you park at the Colemanville Church Road parking area, it's on Google Maps. It could say it's less than half a mile walk to the trestle. Or you could bike a much longer section. So yeah, definitely worth a visit. All right, that'll be it for this video, folks. I think I got two more spots. I'm gonna quick stop at here in Lancaster County. Probably two more covered bridges if we can get to them. All right, as always, folks, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Probably at a covered bridge, though.